So today we are going to continue with part 48 of our free template version 2 and today we are going to be talking about pagination. What is pagination? I can show you by an example here. So this is what we have as pagination. So we have, um, we go to the first page and we have, we have, there are 14 records and we have total items, 14 records, page 1 of 3. If we go to the next page or maybe page 2, it tells you page 2 of 3. Then I probably go to the next page and this is the last page and you can see it has only four items there. Now to show you how it works, I'm going to just add one more country. Let's say I add another country, let's say slow back here. And the code is L V L L L. Okay, S L. And I save now. You can see we have 15 items and we have page one of three. Now if I just add one more item here, you can see that's going to tell us now that it's four pages. And why? Because each of the pages has five items. And now we have 16. So we have 5, 5, 5, 15 plus 1, 16. And that means four pages. So let me just add one more country. Let's just take, for instance, uh, um, Morocco. For instance. And right now I'm going to save. And now what do you see? It tells us page one of four. If I go to the last page, which is the fourth page, we have only one item there. Pagination helps you kind of group your data so that everything does not load in the same place. And if everything loads, that will have performance problem with your application. And that means users are going to be scrolling down. That is not what you want. So let's implement pagination in Playtime version 2. And that should be part 48, which is right here. So we are making much progress. Uh, so please consider subscribing and also if you have challenges following this tutorial, please leave me a comment in the comment box below this video and be sure that I'm going to give you the support you need. So let's go ahead to uh, do pagination. I've also created a step-by-step, -step, so make no mistake about it. Since pagination is a bit tricky, I've created a step-by-step -step we are going to be following right in this tutorial. So these are the steps I'm going to be following right here. And you have all the code snippets you need. We are going to do it together and you see that it's quite quiet once you follow the steps. The page here is in my website. Go to kindsonthegenius.com. So simply go to Google and type kindsonthegenius. So it's going to take you to my website. And once you go to my website, you can actually uh, just scroll down and you see here. I wrote this recently and you can see how to implement pagination in Spring Boot. You open it, that's the page we are currently. So let's go ahead to do this. So let me kind of put this away for now. So if you look at where we currently are in Fleet MS version 2, you can see that we have all the countries listed here. There's no pagination, no, no, um, I think there is uh, filtering here. There is no sorting. Okay, uh, let me see. I think we are already added sorting as well. Let me see. Uh, yeah, so we can sort by clicking on the header here. Yeah, we added it. So, but pagination is not there. That is critical in this application. So let's go fix this. So I'm going to do now, I'm going to put this side by side. So let me kind of minimize this and put it here. And I'm going to just click. So I have the code side by side with the steps we are going to be following right now. So let's go ahead to get started. What we currently have if I go to the country service, because we are going to be modifying the country service, the country controller, and the HTML template. So if I go to the country, um, the country service, which is actually this one, you have find all. So find all is not paginated. It returns everything, as you can see, find all, okay? And if we go to the country controller as well, we also have this, um, let's see where we are. Um, yeah, so we have this find all method as well, okay, in the controller. But in this case, we have keywords as well. And we also have the countries as HTML, which is this one. And for now, we don't have anything in the footer. So the first thing we are going to do now is to modify the service. So let's go to the service. Now, this find all here, we are going to modify it, or rather, instead of modifying it, we maybe just write another method, okay? We'll write a new method called find page, okay? This method takes an int parameter, which will be the page to return. The return type is page and not list. Make no mistake about it. So, we are going to be returning a page and not list. So, in this case, we have list of country here. 
we are going to actually be returning page of country and it's going to take the parameter, an integer parameter, which represents the page we are going to return. Or actually, yeah, the page we are going to be returning. Okay, so let's go ahead to write it. So instead of uh, uh, changing this one, I'm going to simply write another method. So I'm going to call it, yes, call out this, public is going to be page and it's going to be page country and it's going to be find page. Okay, so we have find page. Now, this find page, we need to take a parameter called, which is a pageable object. A pageable object is simply an object that represents a page, which is a list of countries that has a particular size, maybe five countries or 10, 10, 10 countries, and that's what we call a page. So to create a pageable object, I'm going to simply say pageable. Pageable, uh, pageable is equal to page request dot of, and I'm going to specify the page number. Uh, and so we have the page number and the size of the page. So for now, let me just say, assuming I have page number one and the size of the page is five, okay? Or let's say page zero and the size of the page is five. And let's say we have ins page number here. Or instead of using page number of zero, let's use page number minus one, which is what we already have. And we have a size of five. You can actually make it any number you want. So right now, we are now going to return exactly the same method, find all, but we are now going to specify the page for the pageable. So I'm going to return country repository that find all. And if you look at the find all method, it can also take, uh, you can see it takes a pageable here, right here. Okay, so we've written the method to return a page of a given size, okay? The next thing we are going to do now is to go to the controller and modify the find all methods to actually call the find page method instead of calling the find all method. Now I'm going to read out this a little bit because it's very important to understand what is happening. Here, instead of find all, we will get one page at a time. We need to write a new method that takes page number as a second parameter. Now, what is the first parameter? Remember, the first parameter is the model. So let's go to the controller so that you understand what is happening here. I'm going to the controller, and this is where we are. We have the model and the keyword. Okay, but now we, maybe we can leave out the keyword for now for simplicity. We are going to have the model, and we are going to pass the second parameter, which is the page number. Then we are going to call it find page method we wrote in the service the find page method and now give it the page number that we want to return. For the first time, it's going to be page one, okay? Now, when a page is returned from the repository, we call, call find page, it gives you a page. That page that it returns has some additional information with it. For instance, total pages available is also returned together with it, total, total element as well as the list of countries or the, uh, the content of the page. Let's see how this plays out. Now, I'm not going to type out this. I'm simply going to be writing it and explaining it. So let me copy from here and paste and then modify. So I'm going to copy this existing one here and paste it. And then we are going to modify this. So instead of get all, I'm going to just say get one page. And now let's forget the keyword for now. For now, let's leave out the keywords. And we have, um, uh, we, we should have here, we are going to pass from the parameter, we're going to be passing the page number. Okay. Okay. So we're going to be passing the page number and we are going to be capturing the, uh, the page number here as a path variable and it's going to be page number and it's going to be an integer and it's going to be current page. Use, let's use the parameter, the, uh, the name. Sorry, give me a second. Why do we have this page number error? Um, okay, so it's going to be at part variable here. Okay, 
Okay, so this is what we have, and this is exactly what I have here on my website. Let me just make sure I'm not making any mistake here. Current page, okay. Okay, so I'm going to more or less uh, remove this for now. Let me just take all this. Now, the list of countries is available in the page that is returned. So here I'm going to say page, page country. I'm going to call it page is equal to country service that get a uh, fine page. I think I call it fine page. I'm going to give it the current page. The current page is simply the page number that comes right from the URL parameter. So if somebody is requesting for page one, that's the page number and that's the current page as well. All right, so the next thing we are going to do now is to now capture three different items, the total pages, because we, are, we want to display something like page X of Y, page three or five. So we need to know the total number of pages available there. So I'm going to have in total pages is equal to page dot get total pages because this value is available in the page and long total items. So these total items, total number of count of all the objects available there, all the records, total items is equal to page dot get total elements and finally the actual list of items will be available in the page dot content or page that gets content is equal to page dot get content all right so all these items now we are going to pass it across to the ui by the model so we are going to add them as model attributes in this case now i'm going to simply copy and paste because i think it's pretty clear at this point so I'm going to simply copy and paste. So at the end of the day, we are going to return the same the same country's page. Nothing changes. I mean, the country HTML will be returned, but what is going to be changing now is the what page is displayed there, or what items. In this case, we are going to have only a single page of a certain number of records. Okay, so let's just continue. So now I'm going to go to let's go to the next part. Yeah, so we have another method we're going to write. We're going to write a method called get first page. So if a user goes without clicking any page number, he goes to slash countries, he's going to display only the first page because he has not actually paged or selected any page. So while you, you call the initial display of country list, it's going to be default to the first page. You're going to call the first page. So now there will be a method that actually calls get one page initially and it's going to display the first page and this is it. So this function here basically replaces this one. So we have get all pages, we have get all and I'm actually going to comment this one out at this time. So once we go to slash countries, the slash countries is going to call get one page and it's going to display only one single page. Okay, at this point, I think we can try it just to see how it looks like. So I'm going to um, stop this application and then relaunch it. So I'm going to relaunch it and let's see what we have. So hopefully it's going to start up without any error. Um, yeah, good, it starts up. And now I'm going to drag this one out. I'm going to refresh the page and it says, uh, okay, so Okay, sorry, so it was actually using the existing URL. So now you can see that we have only five pages displayed right here. Only five pages displayed. So this is the first initial page. And now we have to worry about displaying the navigation below this table. That's the next step we are going to take now. We are going to display the navigation. So, but for now, I hope this is uh, quite clear how to page. Um, Actually, to display the navigation is quite nice. So let me just kind of um, let me see. So let me just let's quickly do it because I actually don't want this to take so much time. So let me, let me display the navigation by going to the countries.html right here. So if I go to the countries.html uh, right under the table, we are simply going to add a footer. So let me collapse this table. So we have header, we have, uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to now add a footer here, 
and class is going to be panel hotel here. Okay, so here I'm going to now call it um, pagination. Okay, so let me just refresh just to make sure everything is still okay. So if I go back to the page now, if I refresh the page, please refresh. And now we have the pagination section here. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, uh, first of all, display total items. So I'm going to copy and paste, or maybe I'm going to just write it out. So if you want to display the total items, you are going to use square brackets and another square bracket. So here you are going to specify as in dollar sign right here. I'm going to say, because the total pages is coming from the uh, from the controller, remember we are sending it. Uh, we are sending it across. So I'm going to say. Um, uh, so give me one second. So I have. I'll say total items. Total items. And it's going to be total items. And yeah. So this is going to be total items. Put this somewhere here. And it's going to be page, page what? And the page is also coming, let's see here, so I'll do a sign. And the page is coming as the current page, current page. And it's going to be uh, second of total pages of, okay. So at this time we have the total items gives you the total items, okay, all the number of records, and it tells you the current page, page one of total pages. So if I refresh it now, it's going to show us uh, the current page as well as the total number of items available. So let me come here and then refresh, and now you can see it tells us total item 16 and page one of four, okay. So to avoid making this video to be too long, I'm going to stop here and in the next part, we now continue with pagination. Hopefully this is very clear to you. Try to get your head around it and if you have challenges, do let me know. So in the next part, we now continue to display um, the, the buttons of, I mean, the, the, page, the page numbers and that is clickable so that you can click from one page to another. So again, please remember to subscribe if you've not subscribed to my channel. If you have challenges, write me a comment below. And let's see in the next part. I remain Times on the Tech Pro and I'm always there for you.